Hey, how's it going guys? It's Technical Tim here, and I want to thank everyone so much who's been liking all my videos and subscribing to the channel, and I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up, or subscribe if you haven't already. And, um, I haven't done, uh, some of these, you know, this ch channel focuses pretty much all on betting, it's kind of what I do, but, um, I haven't focused on any technical videos for a while, so I'm going to put it on my, my playlist, and I'm going to be doing more of these as, um, in the next, just for the rest of the year, I'm going to kind of do them, because I really like doing these, and I think um, a lot of people tend to enjoy them, and these aren't really betting related, but I can always tie in some betting angles to some of this, like, technique that I, I point out, so I think even if you, if you're just here for betting, um, you can just watch all the betting stuff, but I still think you could maybe stick around for some of this and then conversely if you're not a betting person and you just like technique then this is kind of um, some some quality type of uh, Just tape study type of things that you may not get elsewhere um, On the MMA media because a lot of people MMA media just doesn't do a lot of technique talk or, or at least Technique talk that actually um, is more nuanced if I'm if that's kind of the way to describe it I would say but um what I want to go over today is since Khabib just fought and I haven't I haven't really done many Khabib videos but been studying his style for a long time and the most like prolific the, the best kind of wrestlers I would say um I might be li move um leaving a few out but the best kind of wrestlers I, I would say right now in MMA probably Khabib Gregor Gillespie. Gregor's not in this video. Um, Colby, definitely. And um, I think Usman's kind of thrown in there too. I do think a lot of his is kind of just predicated on cardio and things, but he's still a really skilled wrestler. Um, you know, Askren's probably thrown in there too, and, if, and I've, I've done a video on Askren if you want to watch kind of my analysis on his style a little bit. And then there's probably a few more I'm just kind of forgetting, but I do think like Colby... Um, Usman and and Khabib are definitely three names you would throw in the top ten for sure. Um, and what I want to go over today is a trend I've been seeing, and, and this might be kind of common sense for some people, like if, if you watch a lot of um, cage grappling and, and things like that, but if you don't, it might not, it might seem obvious, but it, it really isn't, and, and they don't really point this stuff out on the broadcast. Um, Colby used this tactic that I'm about to talk to um, against Robbie Lawler maybe seven times. And Dominic Cruz is, the, in my opinion, the best wrestling commentator in the UFC. And he didn't even point it out, so I was kind of surprised. Like, maybe people have pointed it out before, uh, but they haven't really gone into depth as to why people are doing it. And these three guys have kind of mastered it. It's not that the... There's other people who don't attempt this. It's just they're not competent enough in this skill to really um, make it effective. And what I'm going to be going over is I'm going to go over Usman, Colby, and Khabib doing the same move. And it's kind of like a type of chain wrestling type of move that you would, you know, you always hear chain wrestling. But what, what really is chain wrestling? And in my opinion, chain wrestling is just kind of... You, you, you instinctively never stop, and you just keep going one move to one move, and if it gets countered, you don't care. If it gets countered, then you move to the next one, and then eventually the chain wrestling will um, work because the person who's trying to counter the moves and chain wrestle with you don't have an, finally don't have an answer to something. So they might stop the initial shot, the um, initial next two shots, but... Maybe the third shot they they can't because they don't have that counter, and so it's kind of like the Usman, the really good wrestlers like Usman, Colby, and Khabib, they're just kind of testing each guy. Like they, they don't really care if the first one, the first shot works or not, but they're kind of giving you a wrestling IQ test, and eventually they know that one of these moves are going to work, and they're kind of just throwing out probes to know. Because you'll see them maybe get success with one takedown and they keep going back to that the rest of the fight because they know that one's not going to get resisted because the opponent doesn't have a lot of counters. But um, I'm going to go over um, these three guys doing the same move and what they do is they get the double, they get you up against the cage. We see a lot of cage wrestling up against um, the cage where people will push you beyond the black lines. 
get you up against the cage, and then work chain wrestling from there. And what a lot of people like to do is they like to go to a double leg. And what these three guys do is the double leg is failing, so they switch off to a single. And I'm going to kind of explain why switching from the double to the single up against the cage works and why... Um, and, and these guys do it all the time. And you'll see, you'll see other guys do it as well, but these people, th these three just tend to have a lot more proficiency with it. But I'm going to kind of explain why this move is working and kind of the importance of it and, and why, why um, moves like this and kind of chain wrestling in general tends to work. So I'm going to kind of um, spread that theme across as I go. But here's the first one. We'll, we'll kind of watch it in real time first. So it's Kamaru Usman RDA. He was up against a double. He switched to a single, gets the takedown. So let's go back and watch this kind of in slower motion. So look, he's going up against a double. And the reason why people go for the double leg up against the cage is if you lock your hands together going up against the double leg, you can then pick uh, your opponent up. So if Usman was able to clasp his two hands together, this one and this one with the double, he could pick uh, RDA up a lot. And you'll, you'll hear a lot of people like Bisbing, other commentators, even people who aren't that familiar, who didn't start off as wrestlers like a Dan Hardy or something, We'll point that out a lot because it makes sense. If you can lock your hands together, you have full control of the opponent's legs and you can get the takedown from there. And so what Usman is realizing is he can't lock his hands together. And sometimes whenever you get someone up against a cage, you, you can't always lock your hands because maybe they're keeping like RDA is keeping his hips back. So it's not allowing Usman to lock his hands together. And so when you can't lock your hands together, it also gives somebody like RDA the ability to fight under hooks, to then create separation and go left or right off the cage and get his back off the cage and ultimately stop the takedown. And what Usman does, and, and the reason why Khabib and Colby in the videos I'll show you too, it's the same reason, is because if they can't lock their hands together, when they get to the single leg, they can lock their hands together on a single leg because you don't have to go all the way around somebody. So what they do is they try to focus on one leg, locks his hands together, see? And then he just gets the takedown. So it's really important to go to that single leg if the double's not working because you can't get your hands um, locked. And the thing is, single legs, I, I've... I've done a video on single legs before. They work against the non-wrestlers a lot because they don't know the counter. And I'm going to show you the counter later, especially in this position. All single legs are different. You can shoot them from open space against the cage. But against the cage, there's one main counter that will work. It's just a lot of people don't know how to do it, especially when they're getting overwhelmed by a lot of different takedown attempts that maybe they're kind of forgetting that one specific counter. But guys like Usman and... Colby and Khabib, if they were being taken down with these same moves, they would instinctively know how to stop these. Like, they, they would know how to stop the single up against the cage. Um, there's just kind of a level to wrestling, and eventually all the counters are kind of, whenever you become really good, are kind of ingrained in your system. So that was Usman doing it. And I also want to throw out a, a, a theme of these three single leg takedowns, that the finish is different. So if you look at Usman, he kind of... You know, not, not exactly, but he kind of ran the pipe. So you see, he kind of grabs onto the leg. Then he turns the corner and kind of runs the pipe. Not, not exactly, but there's hundreds of finishes you can do with a single leg. And that's another reason why single legs are so effective is because you can chain different finishes from there as well. So there's a lot of guesswork where if you just shoot a double leg, generally in open space, you can stop a double leg with a sprawl. So, um... You can just kind of become athletic, and, and you can be an athlete and stop a lot of people's double legs. Some some double legs are just, like, too good, where you're not going to stop it, like a Jordan Burroughs. But double legs are generally easier for non-wrestlers to pick up on to defend than um, single legs. So let's go now to Khabib. Khabib's the next one. Okay, so here's Khabib. So what Khabib does is, and this is his go-to, he jumps onto a single leg here. So he jumps onto the single, and you're probably 
wondering right now, oh, I thought we were going from a double to a single leg. Well, he's just grabbing onto the single leg to get Al up against the cage. And now here's where he's going for the double leg here. And so, notice he, he knows he can't get this double because look at Al's right leg. It's up against the cage, so Khabib can't lock his hands together here, man. And if you look, this left leg isn't all the way up against the cage. So Khabib and his head's on the inside here. You guys probably don't know what I'm talking about with head being on the inside, but on single legs, generally your head need to be on the, um, the inside here. And this is perfect head position for going for this single leg. So look, Khabib knows, hey, I can't get the double here. I can't get my hands locked together, but I can lock my hands together if I just um, switch to a single. Now watch. He switches to the single, right? And Khabib does a different finish than Usman. Remember, Usman kind of ran the pipe in a way. It wasn't exactly a running the pipe, but it was kind of the same conceptual type of finish. Watch Khabib. I, th I forget exactly what he did. I think he lifts up and gets a trip. Yeah, so he kind of lifts up in sort of like a high crotch, but not really. It's kind of like Daniel Cormier-esque. And Al's defending well. Like, Al's a good wrestler, and he's just using balance, and he's kind of posting off the shoulder to kind of keep balance. But then Khabib's like, okay, well... Because Khabib probably is thinking he can get a takedown by just lifting up in the air and kind of slamming him down. But Al's doing the right thing with his leverage and balance right here. So then Khabib's like, okay, no problem. He gets a trip. He trips him with his right leg and gets the takedown. So see how that finish was completely different than the Kamaru Usman finish with the single leg. And that's the luxury of being good at single legs is you can learn a lot of different finishes from there and people already aren't good at defending single legs in general and so it just gives you more opportunities to chain so look how both of these guys use the same move of going for a double leg up against a cage and sometimes you can clasp your hands together and just finish from there we see it happen all the time but when people are kind of doing the right thing and keeping their legs back and using the cage as a weapon to stop the double they're just switching to the single leg, and it just shows how good of chain wrestlers they are. And the thing I liked about Khabib, and there seems to be a like a, tr a hipster thing to say nowadays that Khabib's not that good of a wrestler, but he relies on athleticism. It's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. Look how quick and fast he is at doing this, and this has nothing to do. This has nothing to do with athleticism. Watch, he shoots it on the single, and watch how much quicker than. Look, he went for that double like. Let's watch it in real time. Watch how quick, compared to Usman, he switches to the single leg. Double, he switches the single leg so fast. Like, this whole sequence, that was like four different things he did to get that takedown, shoot for the single, to push him up against the cage, go for the double, switch back to the single, lift up, and then he tripped him. That was like four or five different chess moves in how long was that sequence? It started at, ended at 3.54, the takedown. Okay, so it was less than nine, it was like eight seconds long. So look how many things he did in that time span. That has nothing to do with athleticism. That is all technique. And so when people say he, um, I, I watch, I, I sometimes, I don't really listen to it anymore, but I sometimes listen to a, a podcast called Heavy Hands and it's not betting related. I, I actually suggest the podcast. I think it's pretty good for um, kind of just, um, more focused type of fight analysis, but it's not really betting. Like those guys don't bet, but um, they're pretty good at striking, but their wrestling analysis, it's not bad or anything. It's just not like high, high level. And they keep saying that Khabib relies on athleticism <laughs> to, to, to do his wrestling. And I strongly disagree and respectfully disagree with those guys that, yeah, I'm sure like being a good athlete helps, <laughs> but all of this is technique, and everything he was doing to Poirier this weekend, most of it was technique as well. Yeah, like, look at that. That's pure technique, man. Um, so that's his. And then here's a more recent example of Colby Covington going against uh, Robbie Lawler. So, look, he did this so many times, and I can't remember if Cruz really mentioned it in the broadcast. I don't totally recall him doing it. But this is Colby. Colby does this all the time. He did it to RDA. He actually probably uses this move more than anyone. I didn't go back and count or anything, but I always just see him kind of in my head whenever I'm recollecting his fights doing things like this. So right now, he's going for the double against the Lawler. And when people say single legs don't always work all that often um, against other wrestlers, 
Other wrestlers can stop them, but still, it's tough to defend, especially if you're good at them. And Robbie Lawler actually grew up wrestling, and he couldn't defend him here. So watch. Sorry, this is a little choppy, but Colby kind of knows the double's not working. He can't lock his hands together. And also, another reason why he can't get this double is not just because he can lock his hands. He can't lock his hands. It's because... Um, right now, Robbie's posting on his head, and whenever you go for a double leg, you need your head generally on the outside. It's hard to pick, it's hard to kind of get the double when your head is underneath someone's crotch. You just don't have the leverage. You have to get to the outside so you can actually pick them up, and you have their weight kind of on your shoulder. Um, and so that's another reason Colby probably switched to a single here. I didn't originally catch that until I'm watching it right now, but I'm seeing Robbie actually doing the correct thing defending the double by keeping his legs back and posting on the head. And so watch. Yeah, he, oh yeah, yeah, he, he started posting on the head again. That This is actually kind of just off script a little bit. He started pushing on the head again. And so that's whenever Colby decides to just switch to, to the single. And another thing about the single, when you have the single, you can pull someone off against off the cage as well. So that's another reason why it helps. It's not only that you can get your hands clasped together, you can pull them off the cage. So watch. Colby, he does a similar finish to Usman. Look, he runs the pipe and gets the takedown there. Okay? So, um, those are three different, completely different fighters in many ways who are using the same technique. And not only is switching to the double, um, to the single up against the cage really effective because you can clasp your hands and kind of chain things together, it also just kind of echoes the whole point of how good of wrestlers these three guys are is that they're always ch like these little subtleties and technique that they're doing right here is all over different moves that they do um elsewhere as well when they're writing people when they're just defending takedowns doing a bunch of other type of techniques they're kind of always chaining things together and they're always a little um, bit of a step ahead of their opponents because they're better wrestlers so um what i'm going to show you now is is RDA and Colby, where RDA actually successfully defended the double to the single switch. And we're going to watch it together, and I'm going to try to challenge you guys to um, maybe guess why RDA stopped this. And you might not even see Colby switching to the single, because it happens so fast, but he does try to switch. But to kind of like the untrained wrestling guy, they might not see it right away. And I didn't see it until I kind of slowed it down a little bit. So, okay, so Colby kind of pushes him up against the cage. He has him here. This is Colby and RDA. I think this is a little bit of a longer sequence. Okay, so he, he starts dropping to the double. He was originally in the over-under position. He's now switching to the double and um, trying to kind of clasp his hands together. But if you look down here, RDA's right leg is up against the cage, so he can't really clasp his hands together. And Colby starts thinking about switching to the single right here. He starts doing it right now. You can barely see it, but you can tell. And um, watch what happens. RDA gets away. And, and so why did he get it? Why did he get away? So the main way to defend someone switching to the single, and it might sound kind of like dumb, but it's really this basic is to get wrist control. That's all you have to do. RDA needs to get wrist control on the free hand of Colby that's switching off to the single. And you can barely even see Colby switching to the single, but watch. Let's watch this together. So Colby's on the double right now. He starts, and he's using elbows to hit Colby as well, you know, and it's not just a wrestling match here. It's also MMA. But if you watch, Colby starts dropping below, and if you can, you can barely see it, this icon. Let's move this. This icon's kind of blocking it a little bit, but watch. RDA just grabbed a hold of his wrist. You can barely see it, but he's grabbing the wrist, and because he's grabbing the wrist, why can't Colby get the, the single? It's because he can't lock his hands together now. He's trying to lock his hands together, but this wrist is being grabbed. So Colby, he's probably like thinking right now, okay, like this guy has my wrist, whatever, like I might have to bail out of here type of thing. Like I'm not going to be able to clasp my hands, but that's all you have to do. And so... Look, he's got wrist control, you can see it. And what that does is, not only do 
you um, prevent Colby from locking his hands together on the single leg, it also gives you a path to spin right or spin left to get off the cage whenever you get wrist control. So not only does he stop him from going to the single leg, Watch, he now has an overhook and he has a little bit of separation that was created whenever he got wrist control and he could go left or right here. Um, it was, what would I do here? Yeah, I would circle off, I would circle off to the left, which he probably, I think that's what he does here. Yeah, he circles off to the left and gets away. So what this showed right here is a lot of these techniques that Colby, Khabib, and Usman do can be stopped with basic other wrestling, and there's people capable of doing that. Um, but even RDA was taken down with the same move against Usman. And so I think the point I'm trying to make here is, is you can stop them, but if you stop one, all of a sudden, like, they'll go to something else. And so you have to kind of be passing 100% of all the tests they're throwing at you. And even if you stop 9 of 10, eventually you'll probably be taken down. So, even though RDA did all the right things there, uh, Colby will just switch to something else. So it kind of just causes a lot of uh, um, overwhelming thoughts for the guy defending the takedowns. But I, I hope this video kind of helped. I think the main point I'm just trying to make is that just a little technique like switching from a double to the single up against a cage is a small thing and all these wrestlers, these chain wrestlers, have so many of these little tactics that even though they're preventable and you can stop the takedowns, um, sometimes they're so overwhelming and persistent with the takedowns that they can't always pass all the tests and eventually they get taken down. Um, I do think there's guys capable of stopping these out there. Like, I don't think you'd be able to just take down a Greg or Gillespie if you're um, assuming they're the same weight class. Um, if you're using some of this, these techniques, I, I think Gregor would just instinctively do the right things and not always be held down. But whenever you're going against guys like Poirier, for example, who fought Khabib this weekend, um, he that's great that you're training wrestling for a camp or anything, but this is something Khabib's kind of been doing his whole life, and same with Colby and Usman, to where you might stop some, you might stop one or two, but eventually um, they'll probably checkmate you. So... That's all I kind of wanted to uh, to talk about on this video, but <laughs> I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this, and I hope it was easy to follow along. Give me feedback on the comments if you kind of like this video, and if I maybe need to slow down and kind of use more captions or something, a better way to explain things, because sometimes this stuff's just second nature to me whenever I'm talking about it, but... Um, yeah, I'm going to kind of do more of these technique videos to kind of explain... Um, some underappreciated technique that a lot of these fighters use because I think we kind of just look at the sport sometimes too basic and we'll just say Colby has good takedowns but we don't really look into the reasons as to why he has good takedowns and things like that so I'm going to kind of open up um, some different lenses to look at these fighters just so we can kind of understand what's going on up in the cage a little more so thanks so much guys uh, comment below and um, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much. Bye.